ready. Alright, I can talk? Yep. Hey guys, so we got people here already. Debbie's here and Lisa Marie. Woohoo, my two girls are here first. I forgot to peel the stuff off my lunar paste. So now I gotta be doing it. How are you guys? Yeah, what I need is a box cutter. I'll get you one. Can you get me a box cutter? Yes, we have had quite a morning here, let me tell you. John decided he wanted to put his TV on the wall. So we had the Best Buy guy here doing that. Let's see who else is here. Deborah Bulldog and Sherry Lynn is here. Yay. Yep. And so we had all that hoo-ha going on. Of course, there were problems with that. So then I went out in the garage to turn on the heat for Jordan and click. We had a furnace man come this morning. It has just been a merry chase. Let me tell you what. How's your day going so far, guys? I can see you better. How's your day going? Hello, hello. Deborah Long's here. Dara's here. Don't know why you're saying goodbye. Say hello. I hate that they have to wrap these things like that, but, you know, it prevents them from... Here, why don't you let me do that yeah, while you chat? You... Yeah. <laughs> that might be better, right? Thank you, Diane. I just, I tell you, I'm just not thinking. And then I got to do another video after that. this. Yeah, I know. I'm just trying okay. to do We got to do our Friday video after that, which will be with the stuff we're painting now. So. Yeah, you're stuck with me today, guys. Lauren's not yeah, feeling her Lauren best. Yeah, Lauren hasn't been doing so good this week. Diane wasn't feeling good the other day either, was she? Uh, it's that kind of winter. Back. Oh, man. We got that kind and I had to of clean up my kitchen, too. Oh, I'm not looking right place. I don't look in there. I look yeah, you look over here. I'm over here looking in <laughs> here. I got, you know, I am one confused <laughs> woman. I'm telling you what. But, the but we're here. We're here, and the coffee's on. There's always a way of making it work. I Always a way of making it work, so we did. I couldn't find my... Little Teflon sheet, you know, we sung at the site. I couldn't find any. I couldn't find any out there, so we're probably out. Let's go. Well, garbage bag. And all those fellas do use a garbage bag. So, so we're done. So we're going to be using Luna paste today. And the colors that I have selected are, um, let's see, Melee. Don't let her get this. She'll no, I won't. It. She'll eat it. No Diving, which is the blue. I love that color. And the pretty blue. And this one is Roar. Shocking, right, guys? Me in the blue. Copper. <laughs> and uh, I'm going to set these aside. And then this one is called Later Gator. <laughs> these are great for coverage. They're every bit as good as the, the Incas were. I like them better, as a matter of fact. I think they last longer. Um, I didn't bring my lunar paste out, but... Uh, Diane will have to entertain you for a moment with a song and dance or something like that while I run back in the other office. Wait, what do you got on again? <laughs> Diane's like, what are you telling him? No, 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 no. <laughs> what do you need? Nothing, I'm good. Oh, okay. I, oh yeah, she could get it, I guess. Um, I, I left my... Um, Silver paste? On my desk. Duh. You keep talking. I can't believe I, I almost... I just, I don't know how I can cancel. I told everybody. I was in my newsletter, so there's like a thousand people at least seen that. Then I put it in the community on YouTube, and then I've been talking about it on Instagram and on on um, Facebook all week. I said, how am I going to cancel this while some, somebody's showing up and then saying, hey, she's not here. But so far, it's my regulars that are here. So, hey, Jan. Maybe uh, I worried for nothing. Huh? Oh, oh, and by the way, before I forget, don't forget to comment on the video. That's not what you're doing right now on the feed here from this. That's not that. That's where you go and you comment under the video after the video is kind of processed. So um, those are helping us a lot. We're finding some new people that we're starting to kick in a little bit. And then uh, we're doing a little bit of back rooms, SEO for YouTube stuff too on the back. 
So hopefully we'll get to see more. But your efforts on our behalf are the ones that really count. They matter the most all the way down the line. Now, I hope you can hear me today because I'm a little bit... Because uh, there's just a lot happened this morning and I didn't get my nap. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to do my best. I got my coffee brewing. Can you hear it? My coffee's brewing. If any of y'all in the neighborhood, stop on over. <laughs> Donna had said something she might, but she had somewhere she had to be. Heidi said she might come with her. I don't know. So it could be a party. A party or we'll have me and Diane. Mean, that's still a party. <laughs> right? Woo -woo. Yeah. So anyway, um, we did plenty of this over the years we've been together. So you girls are going to say, oh, this is nothing new. But you know, there are a lot of people who watch these videos after they're not live anymore. A lot of people who watch them while they're live and don't comment, we don't know they're there, which is fine. If you're one of them, that's not a problem. Um, a lot of people watch these who maybe never knew about it or never did it. So that's why it's a good thing to review it. And I just felt like I had to because, um, let's see if I get this in. I showed you guys this picture the other day and everybody went nuts over it. Was I have had it in my hard drive. And it's from, I think, the last time we painted brass. And you see I'm setting up a necklace here at the bottom. So pretty. That necklace sold so fast it was nuts. I mean, like, no. No, no, voice. But, okay, she's telling me, oh, I thought she said, <laughs> lift your chin. No. <laughs> I don't know why, but okay. Speak up, Brenda. <laughs> I'll give it what I've got. Well, you have a lovely, soft voice, but we want to hear it's you. Well, you know what? I always had a very loud voice years ago. Very loud and um, not entirely pleasant. <laughs> oh. Okay. And um, I just through the years, it just got soft. Probably because I got old and tired. Right? Old and tired. So thank you for that kind... Thing. I need to wash my hair today, but there was no time for that. Oh, it looks nice. Yeah, I was It's getting so long. Okay. It is. I don't know when I want to quit, so I guess I won't. <laughs> That'll grow down to my butt. It won't look good. <laughs> Not that long. Very few people can have hair that long, it looks like that. So I'm laying out all my pieces, parts right now. So I see what I got to work. I try to go by the picture, see, you know, about getting all the parts. I have these brass screens, but I'm not going to assemble anything today. We're just going to part, we're just going to paint and talk to each other, okay? So talk up, girls! <laughs> I wish I had something funny to tell you. I really do. I wish I had something exciting. Oh, oh, here's something exciting. Woo -hoo -hoo. Bell armor. Got my article all laid out and ready to put in the magazine. The magazine drops March 1st. Oh, nice. But my article's done and it's all laid out already. Everything. So I love it. It's beautiful. They said it'd be a beautiful article. I knew it would be. And it's three pages. Oh, and they sent you a, a mock up of it or like yeah, the, the. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, they, yeah, they did. And we're getting paid again, so wow, you know, not a lot, but we get paid something. And then, um, so yeah, I liked it. The other thing is, is they, because I think because they didn't understand that kind of jewelry, the first piece that they put is a really good shot. You can really see it. They, in fact, there's two shots of it. But the others, um, I don't know, I don't think maybe they're as effective. But they would be taking the pictures from another viewpoint. When I take pictures, I know what people want to see to consider buying a piece. That's not the way they did it. They did it to show people who might consider wanting to make something like that. So it's still lovely. I'm not complaining. Yeah, they want to show it from angles where they can see the technique or the work. Or yeah, the... well, you know, she said you want to teach them how to do it in this article. I'm like, are you? No. I said, there's no way. There's no way. Remember the Haskell class of the, some of you guys were there and took it? Remember how long it was? It went on for weeks. And I was very slow at it. I'm still slow because oh, um, nice. it's, just, it's, not, it's not what I do all the time. It's just tedious work. I don't mind it. 
Some people would drive them nuts, I'm sure. I don't mind it. But uh, that kind of uh, jewelry making is what I call not for profit. <laughs> because it, it's not that the parts cost you so much, it's just it takes too long to do it. So you maybe have to find a way to make it easier by not wiring everything or something. I don't know. So we're going to explore some of that in the new class. The winter class. Yes, which is called Botanical Bliss, a Compendium of Beautiful Assemblage Techniques. It sounds like a book title. <laughs> Darren and I came up with that. But that's what it is. And you, if you're on the, I think everybody here is on the creative group, so you've seen the pictures of what we're going to do. They're very involved pieces, but I think each piece could be made in a day, morning and afternoon. And I keep telling Brenda, the butterfly necklace that she's doing, it's my favorite piece that Brenda has ever, ever made. I, every time I look at it, I want it. So now I well, get to make myself one. Now you one. can make one. So we got lots of those butterflies over at Etsy. So I'm worrying about do we have enough parts for that one. I think you'll be okay. And I've been, I've been buying beads like an absolute fool this last week. I bought this kind of bead, that kind of bead. Some I bought here, some I bought from China. Um, I didn't get any from Czech Republic. It takes just too long for me to get here. Um, but I got gorgeous stuff. Beautiful stuff. So, um, yeah, whoever gets in on the kit with the class, because I'm selling, I'm only selling kits with class, no kits separately. After all the kits with class are sold, I'll see what I can do, because I'm sure there will be leftover pieces, parts. But I don't know if I'll be able to make a complete one or not. It might be missing some, I don't know. You won't worry about it for now. I did it last time I did the Haskell. I had quite a few people come to me later. Can you put something together for me? I says, yeah, but it won't be. He said, oh, just give me something to play with. Okay, you know, so we worked it out. Um, but I'm only doing 25 kits this time because I was just unsure of myself. You know, are we going to really sell all these or what? But I think we will, especially when those beads come in and I start working with them and I make the samples because I those were just pictures, which you saw. I have to make them so we can have a physical piece and then when we start all over again and work again. So I think once they see those or you see those, you're going to want in on this. The only problem is I don't know. I, I've sold five of them already, no kidding. And I have uh, two more that are class only and possibly a kit if I can whip one up, which I would love to. Um, I'm sure I can do something. But yeah, my brass comes tomorrow. That's going to be a nightmare because it's like a big, heavy box of brass. Because you guys know I haven't ordered stampings for a long time because I couldn't. That's the only reason. They were out on um, hiatus for the holiday, which that's a long time because, like, don't even give them an order the week before. Who knows? It might get lost or whatever. And so you have to wait till they come back in, and then they're backed up. So then you have to wait like another month to get your stuff. So I'm actually getting them a little early than I thought I would, but I got a couple buddies over there, so they're looking out for me. Um, I'm gonna get my cup of coffee and I'll be right back. Mine over and get one, it's good stuff. <laughs> it's Brent, the good Brenda stuff. Brenda knows how to brew some coffee. And Jordan ran out and got me some half and half because I, I ran out. Where's my water bottle? Oh, it's back there. That's okay. I got a whole bunch of them. Just a second, guys. I always put water. You put water in your coffee? Risky, risky, risky. Water, water, water. You know that song? <laughs> no. Who sings it? I can't. I okay, know. ladies, ladies. What do we think of this water in the coffee? I don't know about this. It's just a little bit. Two reasons. <laughs> to cool it a little bit, and then it's always terribly strong. Oh. And I make it that way on purpose in case if I have to do this, no big deal. And if I don't, that's just so much the better, right? Hey, Miss Gloria's here. And Karen, Karen Gill and Pat Parton's here, too. Ooh. Hi, guys. That party can start. 
Alrighty, so I'm just going to paint these. So I've got my colors here. Okay, so I think I'm going to move this then, Brenda, and zoom in on yeah, what yeah, you're Yeah, you guys don't need to see me now. So okay, so let's... She'll have one with half and half. Right? Yeah, i got to have half and half, especially for the strong and stuff. And we're going to... Point it down. And point it down at what you're doing. Yeah. Give me one sec, guys. Okay. The plug doesn't want to come out. I didn't want to reach. Okay. Oh, you're going to hold it. You're going to be holding yeah, it. Yeah, I think long, so. You're going to hold it for a long time. Well, we'll put it back when you're done. And I'm wondering if I should step around just so they can see the way you're doing instead of upside down. What do you well, think? you could come around this side. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. I'm going to come around so you can see her work. So the other half of the room's messy. I didn't clean it up. Well, we're not, they're not going to see that. Okay. <clears throat> I don't care. You're going to come do. around and stand I don't care if they do. Home. I'm all about reality. <clears throat> okay, so here's the stuff I'm going to paint. I've got, let's see, I even got the, I even have the um, skews. In case anybody wants to write them down, I'll just kind of pause after I say it, okay? So, she, Ice Cube's in her show. He says, yeah, me too. I do that also. Um, this is a, uh, Brox 09002. B-R-O-X 09002, this one. Okay. I love those for assemblage. They are. There's a... Uh, They're a great layering piece. A smaller one too, I think. Mm -hmm. And a bigger one also. Which is coming in raw brass um, tomorrow. And then I have this circlet, which I can't live without these. I just I use them for so many things. Everybody needs these in their stash. Everything I selected, there's a pretty deep inventory of too. Woohoo. So um, this is BROX 04907. 04907. Okay, you can always come back and hear it. Um, this is, uh, this flower. This is cute. It's all cupped. See how it is on the back? Yeah, it makes a nice bead cap, too, yeah. for larger beads. Yeah. Brox 01344. Brox 01344. And you get six of those. I could repeat these, too, in the description. <clears throat> Maybe I will do that. I think that would be a nice thing to do for these. Okay, these are the cone caps that I love. You guys know all about these cone caps. These, these are the bomb. I've never seen anybody else with them yet. Which I, I, they, they come from a company that closed. Oh. And someone else bought the dyes, and they were not available for about three years. And then I was talking to the right person, evidently, and they went and found it and said, yep, we can do this. So I've got them. But you kind of have to know about them because they're not in their catalog. So, alrighty. So there's those. I'll just sit them down. And then there's this leaf, this here leaf. Now I have this in a big, big version and a small one. This time, what I had was a small one. The big ones are coming in raw brass tomorrow. I still have to put in a brass ox order. I ordered so much stuff. It was ridiculous. I'm a little bit scared. <laughs> <laughs> but we just had run down so much. So, anyway, so this one is. LF02889. And there's an uh, there's one that faces the other way too that shows in the leaf section LF. Um, and these you also get a package of six. No. Yes. No, you don't. You yeah, don't. that's the number you just read. No, that's what I told Jordan to pull for me. Oh, gotcha. Yeah, yeah, no, they're by the piece. Oh, you're right. You're right. They're by the piece. And then um, this is flower. This is so versatile. Oh, the, you guys the, probably, the dogwood flower. You probably have some of these in your stash. Um, this is Brox B R O X O six three eight two. I love these. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this number. If you see the number on here, is what Jordan pulled for me. Gotcha. Yeah. So we have that. And you have flower. your tulip cap. And we have the little tulip cap. She's showing. You guys know these. These are the small ones. Be I adore these and I adore painting these. So these are going to be fun to watch. Yeah. I wish I had Q-tip have... out here to do the insides. Um, Brox 01408 on those. This leaf's kind of interesting. Now this is raw, but it's, it's kind of creased in the middle. It's got a lot of dimension. Mm -hmm. It's very vintage looking. Um, and it is... Well, that can't... 
okay, it's probably LF09270. Okay, and then, you know, this is the, if I was making it, or what I originally made it on was this. This one is actually a brass ox necklace crescent. We have some that are plated. They don't plate good in every color, but this one, they, it does. And so we have this one, the necklace black blank, and it's base 01125. And this one's kind of nice because it's a little different than the one Brenda used in her button assemblage yeah, video it because it has a hole here at the bottom for hanging. Yeah, things. and it's a little smaller too mm -hmm. if you would want something a little bit smaller. And then I bought, I bought, I got out some of this uh, brass ox chain, which I really like. It's like a, it's like a twisted cable with different, uh, I think they call it sister chain or something. I don't know. But anyway, every so often there's, you know, a little bit of Figaro type stuff. And so I got that, thought I'd do. Because what I'm going to do is I'm not going to do the great big version like you saw in the picture here. I'm going to try something small. Oh. Because not everybody wants big and huge. And I know especially younger people really don't go for that. So maybe if I can show them something that's fun looking, doesn't take too many pieces, parts, too much time to make, maybe they will be compelled to give it a shot. Mm -hmm. So who says I look lovely? Somebody already said that. Oh, beans, beans, silly, maybe. Or maybe just didn't take it off. Hi, Colleen. Colleen's here. I'm popping in for a little bit. Watch all that. Well, you just pop in for however long you can. So Pat wants to know, is this a preview of the class? No. No, this is different. No. Um, I'll have one in a few weeks when I get my parts ready to pack kits. I think, guys, there is a way on your screen you might be able to get rid of those. Let me see if I can. Maybe. Drop it. I don't know how to <clears throat> drop that down. You know what? Let's just ignore it. So what I'm going to do, Diana, I well, think... Well, the problem is it's blocking what they're seeing. Oh. So let me see if I can figure that out for a minute. Because I don't think that's been on there before. Well, we've I've seen them, but it's not going away. Hmm. Yeah, the paint is... Are yeah, those are beautiful colors. colors. Amazing colors today. No, I'm not doing any videos that like preview or give you like uh, show you kind of sort of what I'm going to be doing. What I will be doing, Pat, is when I get my samples made in a couple of weeks, I'll do a video and I'll show you the samples that are completely made. And they'll be as much like what was in the pictures as possible. Now, you know, some of those pictures, I put them on Facebook. I put them on the community here. All right, I'm going to come back around Okay, see if you one. can figure that out. And I'll see if I can figure um, that out. Yeah, I don't know what happened. Anyway, we'll have to just deal with it. So, because I don't think that's been on there before, has it? I've seen them before pop up. Seems to come up when Harvey did them, but um, I I don't know what. I'm gonna text Lauren and ask her. Okay, because <clears throat> she, she usually know. does this. She might know. I'll just try to lift it up. So let me see if I do this. No, that makes it worse. Okay, so if I work kind of above, then I'll be able to see it. So yeah, when I get my samples made, you'll be able to see the real deal, kind of sort of what we're going to be doing. But the pictures are very close to it, too. They've just been made a long time ago, so they're not the quality of pictures that we have now. Um, but yeah, that's what we're doing. We're doing those pieces. Only I hope we're doing them even better. So... But, yeah, d oh, don't worry about it, honey. You didn't do anything. It's something on our end, something we have. Well, Gloria, I'm doing my best. So we're doing our best to figure out how to get rid of it. See, now it's not, it's not blocking anything now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these paints here because I'm not using them. I'm going to put them here. Sometimes you have to improvise. Okay, so now you can see, even with the message on the bottom, you're going to be able to see everything I do. Now, she's with Lauren on the phone. We're going to see how we said something about dropping by today. Be nice if she did, because she might know. But anyway, we'll get it all worked out. You guys can see just fine now. So, okay, so this 
is my paint water. I almost drank my paint water. <laughs> anyway. So, yeah. And I ordered so many beads for this. I'm... This... This... Is going to be a bear to pack. Without a doubt. I have never packed this hard of a kit ever. So I'm going to get started on it as soon as stuff starts showing up. Okay, so now i got to figure out what color do I want to paint my um, flowers. Do you have any idea? No? She doesn't know why it's doing that. Huh. So you do what you're doing, and I'll try to figure this okay. out. Okay. Yeah, you guys don't need to see what she's doing. No, All you they're just looking at her. So. so here, I'm looking to see what colors I painted the flowers, and they're kind of rusty orangey color, which of course I don't have to do the same thing, but I could. Ah, oh, Jordan forgot to bring these out tonight. Oh, well, I like the look of them. Okay, so let me see what I can do. I would like to try and mix it up maybe a little bit. I'll work on these. And I like to use these brushes. This is what I like to use. If there's something else you prefer, then you use that, okay? So whatever works for you, this usually works for me. So, I thought I had my pocket. Okay, I think I did it, guys. She got it out. Did we get it out? I think we just bumped just the wrong button. The spoon out here. So let me know if they disappear. Let me get in here and see if I can get the spoon. Oh, yeah. How did we do? Did we get rid of them on the screen for you? Yeah, we're not seeing it. I'm not seeing it, but I need to know if you're still yeah. seeing it, if I need to still mess so, with it. You know what? Before I start painting these, I think I'm just going to, since I've got my spoons out here and I can do it, uh, I'm just going to take a little bit of this and put it down. And then, hmm, I hate this waste. Um, Okay, so now I'll wipe this off so I can get the next one. Yeah, if you want to know more about that class, if you want to go to my Instagram, Instagram at bsuboutiques.com. Oh, good, it's gone. Thank you, guys. Wow. We talked about it on Monday at 4. I'm doing a little regular thing over there. Also, uh, I've been talking about it on Facebook and all over, but no, there's not going to be any demonstration of how I do it, um, because I do the class now, right? Okay, no. And that's the thing. Some of the things, some of the techniques that I'm going to uh, share are things that I've never taught before. Not all of them, a few. So... I know for some it seems expensive, and I'm sure it is. I couldn't do it for a dime less. The kit is going to be sold at cost because I just kept, it just kept going up and up for us to be able to have good things. And I'm like, well, then I'm going to let them have good things, and I'll just let it go and try to make a little tiny bit on the class. So pretty sure just about anybody else would charge more. But it is a lot of money. I've had other classes that cost it. When you guys used to come out here, I think those classes were always $2.95 to $3.25. Here comes Huggy. Huggy baby. Look at this. She got done with her chores. Come on in here and say hi. Hey, did you get it down? <laughs> yeah. Oh, did you heard us. She heard us. She heard us and she came speeding over. Yep. <laughs> Diane found it. She got her down. You got it down? Yeah, I did. Yeah. This yeah. is cool. Yeah. <laughs> we're going gonna to paint these things. And then later on, Diane and I are going to do a, a little uh, video. Could you mix the paints me. together? Sure you can. Oh, Why not? Question. Of course. Yeah, I'm going to mix them right now. Oh, Mary, I think you will really enjoy it. It's going to be step by step. I think you will be just fine. Oh, yeah. These are... I would call them more intermediate. They're not beginner techniques, but they're not, you know. The Haskell was harder than this. 
but it's still, there's a lot to it. The pieces are so effusive, so much stuff going on. So. But she's wondering if she'll get lost during the class. No, because you can't get lost. Because she's because new. You, no, you can't get lost, Mary, because... No, it's step by step. Yeah, you you own that video. Once you pay for this class, you own that video. You go back and watch it time and time and time again. I know last time people had said something about putting, <laughs> um, putting like a little... You know how you can put a, a time stamp... At the bottom, and mm -hmm. then yeah. I don't know if we can do that with live. Can we do that with live? What? You know how some people do at the bottom of videos, they do like a timestamp, and you, this within this time frame, frame you will see this. Yeah, you, we could add that to yeah, the description box. You can add, that. Yeah. You can add yeah. it to live after. Uh -huh. Yeah, okay. once it posts, you could go back and add it live. Okay. Yeah, you can do well, like maybe. a little, like everybody else. Yeah, some does people it. ask me to do that so they could find this part of that part. Yeah. That, that probably. Sometimes Facebook automatically does it, but um, you do have to go back and do it. But for YouTube, yes. since we're going to be on YouTube. Yeah. You'll have, we'll just go into the description box yep. and add what time this started or that yep. started. And then say to whatever description, like this is where we started painting, this is where we were talking, mm -hmm. <laughs> this is where we took a break. <laughs> mm -hmm. So, anyway, okay, I got all my colors out that I'm going to use. So, I'm going to do these. Oh, so you're using a sponge brush? Yeah. I love those, they're very See versatile. See how nice it goes on? Yeah. I, I, I don't, you get you get coverage, but it's not so much that you can't see like the integrity of the design. So I don't have any water bottles in the fridge, hubby, but I got uh, oh, you're fine. done in the floor if you know. So. I just want to take off my jacket. Yeah, it's probably it's hot. nice and warm in here. Yeah, it is nice and warm in here, thank goodness. Why was it not warm before? Uh, we had the, 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 so this came out kind of light. Here, put, put the other one, the original one next to it so they can see the difference. I don't one have one of those. Oh, yeah. oh, oh, this one. Yeah, put it right there. There you go. There you go. Look how pretty And I'm going to put a little yellow on that too, maybe. Yeah, yeah cool. it does. So everybody's saying hi, Javi. Hello. Hi, guys. Hello. I miss you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> everybody misses Javi. Who said hi? <laughs> Deborah Ron, a whole bunch of people. And uh, Pat Pardon said. And Karen Gilda said. Yep. Is Donna coming? No. She yeah. got pooped out. Yeah. <laughs> it was a lot of work. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, I love how easily the brass takes these colors. The, you know what? That's you true. might be thinking too, why are you using brass socks? Why, why don't you use your raw? Well... I didn't have all the parts in, in raw. But you could use raw. You could use raw. I te it definitely would save you money. But here's the thing. You have a finished back with brass eyes. Yes. Otherwise, you've got to do something about that. Yes. So I like that feature. So... I, and brass ox takes color really, really well, as you can see. I could go thicker. I could, I could do. I would say maybe put like two coats if you want it heavier. Maybe don't go and put it all on at first. But definitely let it dry in between, or it'll just kind of take up what you just put yeah. down. We got lunar paste when you were here. Yeah, no, I was. But just we didn't have it. solar paste. Yeah, what's solar? What's the difference? We'll open it up. And look. These are iridescent. They're <gasps> all a white base. What? Yeah, they're all a white. Whoops. They're all a white base, but then they iridesce. Like this one goes oh, blue. Man. I this got one them. goes copper. <laughs> this one goes green. Well, you can get what? one for next month or something. Yeah. They're cool. They're very cool. I didn't know that. You have to show them how to put she one did. on. Oh, she yeah. did already? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, we tried. Oh, man. The only one that shows up really good is the beluga, which is like a blue. On, on black. On black, oh, oh, yeah. It's oh, the bomb. Gorgeous. It looks gorgeous. Hmm. The rest kind of. I was thinking, I was like, it says on a phase, black bag, right? a little bit. So I've got to do more experimenting to see what I can see. Okay. Doesn't do good on brass. Um, raw. Um. Brass um, You just don't see it quite. Hmm. It's at, you know the Simon Hurley products are for use. Yeah, I know. On paper, you know. Yes. So you know we're but, doing something. But I different. like it. <laughs> but this. Yeah. On the black. Amazing. Yeah, Is that piece on your desk that you did with this? I don't know. Don't okay. Know. 
don't know. So now I'm just going to see what happens here. So there Sherry says hi. Hi, guys. It's nice to hear you. Oh, thank you, guys. I came to visit. <laughs> yeah, she comes to visit. Yeah, since we all live really close. <laughs> yeah, we do. We do. I don't know. I'd rather... Well, you're making them, like, copper-like. It does look like Yeah, that. Maybe mm-hmm. put a little bit of yellow. Oh, yeah, there it. you go. Yeah, a little bit. Looks nice with yellow. And you can just kind of, you know, brush it out with your finger, too. Of course, then you're going to have a messy <laughs> finger. But it comes right off. Yeah, it's washable. Hey. Yeah, don't worry about hey, that. Hey, Chica. What you doing? Are you being a bad kitty? <laughs> she was in her room all day. Aww. Yeah, oh, kitty. Because um, no. the guys were here fixing the furnace. Hi, Chica. She had to go ahead. Okay, so there's that. One. And you know, when you do this, they don't have to all be even, you know. They can be kind of different colors. There's more like cats. So <laughs> I'm not going to do all of them to the ultimate of what I will do right now because I want you to see what it looks like on this other stuff, too. Because, hey, I'm going to keep you here all day, right? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that's for those colors. I have a bunch of these over here. Oh. So I think I'll try this blue. Blue. Yes. Try it. Oh, I wish they had a purple one. <laughs> yeah, I think they do, but I ran out of them. Oh. I'm, as soon as purple. we're done here, I'm going to go buy some. You know, I probably have them early next week. Because we do have some lunar paste, but I didn't realize we were this low. There is some of all the colors, except there's no purple. I don't know. I think we did have purple at one time. Yeah, I think so, too. Okay, she's going to show you. It's a little bit sticky. Whoa. But you can see how it's taken that blue color. The second coat will come out amazing. Yeah, I'm still making my wire work. I got I, I got to put post stuff, up, but my, my brain doesn't she want to. <laughs> she did WTW last week. She hopped on there and did WTW. Yeah, I'm making a lot of wire work. I just need to... Yeah. High five. I, I just need get, to post it. See, and I, I need to get back to doing stuff. My brain does not yeah. have mentally stop me. <laughs> I, just, I just got some things last week, though, because I have an idea for a necklace. So we'll Ooh, see how it go. comes out. So there's, there's another one where I combine a little bit of blue and the green. I want to show them. Beautiful. Ooh, that's pretty. Yeah. I like that. That's real pretty. For leaves, that would be gorgeous. Yeah. I'm a little. I'm going to do this and just put it in some cousin glue. Listen, what are you doing, Brenda? You're contaminating your brush. You know what? I don't care. <laughs> I think it dries up quick enough, you know. I wash. I can wash these out, like, if I do it promptly. I like painting brass. I'd rather be sitting at a table, though. But that's okay. It helps your back to be supported. Like. Yeah. <laughs> So that's how those are going. Okay, guys. So now I've got a few more I gotta do. And then yeah. here we're gonna do leaves. Leaves. Could you imagine in the fall doing like the copper color yes. and the yellow and mixed with some green and we yes. just love that day. I know it just would be but with these the the Yeah. Those were not page. made with leaves. Yeah. Because these the ones you did before those are in this was acrylic paint, wasn't it? It's, well, yeah, they're all acrylic. Yeah. But, I mean, this is a much different... And I like these because they have a tad hint of metallic mm-hmm. in them, yeah. which I think really sets off the detail of the brass. Yeah. Well, I hope these dry out good enough for us to do our other video today, Diane. <laughs> this is right. Yeah, I hope so, too, because I'm going home. But they actually could... You could do a little bit of both. You could do some with the lunar paste, some with acrylic paint, some with mica powders, and mix them all. Uh-huh. That would be a cool textural piece. It would. What's that? Perfect pearls, too. Yeah. yeah. Perfect On top pearls. Of it, just like shine. Excellent. You could probably do both, really. A little bit of big salt. I wonder if you <laughs> put a little solar paste on, and then instead of doing the clear embossing, if you drifted the perfect pearls down through. <gasps> Real light. Just yeah, hit it real light because spot. it'll yeah. glurp up if you. Yeah. Know. Oh, I bet it would be pretty. I, I think so too. Thin. Lots I agree, of Mary. <laughs> I love that blue too. The girls okay. here all laugh at me because they all know I'm a blue girl. 
She's blue. But that's your color. <laughs> it is my color. I love it. Yep. Mine's so. purple. Mm -hmm. But I like purple. Let's just be. I don't know if it That was my mother's match. favorite color. Purple. Yeah, she loved <laughs> Purple. Everything purple. Yeah, yeah she did. <laughs> I painted my nails purple when she passed. Aww. I was so sad and I wanted to do something. And I never get my nails done, but I went and got them done purple for her. Aww. She That's was a so sweetheart. Sweet. Yeah, the copper is really gorgeous, yeah. isn't it? And see, now what you could do, there are Pat just said hi to you. Hi. Hi, Pat. And then here's Christine. Came on. Hi, Christine. Gary loses Christine. Um, what I'll do is I'll probably get a paintbrush and I'll, when these dry a little bit, I'll probably kind of just tinge around the edges with the paintbrush. Ooh, you could do a different yeah, color. Yeah, because I was saying, oh, I'm not going to use a paintbrush, but yeah, that's that'd be the best well, way. Take a look at this, guys. I'm going to show you. One was done just in the copper, and then the other one has hits of yellow in it. And you can definitely see how easy this is and how beautiful yeah. it makes them. And it dries fast too, which is also excellent. So I'm gonna see how many of these leaves I got here. Yeah. This is the last one I pulled. I'm about done with them. Then I got these guys, so I can maybe go ahead and. Oh yeah, those definitely. Kind of do them. Let's see how they do them in here. <laughs> Green. Yeah. They're kind of a little bit sheer in there. But you did some of these in other colors. Yeah. Like yeah, a little bit I did. Copper. I probably had more of them to work with. I did. You know, when I do something like this, I want to be careful that I don't take... I'll put a little bit on the back because these are raw. Um, I don't want to take too much so there's nothing. If somebody wants to go buy some, then I don't want to be frustrated. Go, oh, everybody bought them already. Brenda used them all. <laughs> <laughs> Brenda used That's them true. all. So I gotta go buy lunar paste real quick. There is more lunar paste. Yeah, there's a bunch back there. Well, no, not really. <gasps> no? Not today, no. It's not about bought it. Yeah, I desperately want to see. <laughs> and you gotta try this one. Uh, yeah, I'm, I was gonna be With like. black mat. Yeah, I'll just take a scoop of it. I couldn't <laughs> find the one you did though. This is definitely going to be on my list of things solar. to do. Yeah. This is I, I, so fun. I love the solar paste. I, I like it I so much better than Inca. Yeah. I really and maybe if you what? paint it black and it's not hard to get there. The, the thing for the, for me is cool because I love jewelry making and I love painting. And this is like a little yeah. both. <laughs> yeah, a little yeah. both. <laughs> a little, a little bit of both. both worlds. Yeah, Diane's a really good painter. Well, mixed I don't know media. about that, but mixed media stuff. it's fun for me. Yeah. Oh, I see. Mm. I enjoy it. I used to like to do stuff like that. I used to paint. But I bet you I that know. would look good. Okay, did I get all of those? I need to nope. And there's some more of that. Oh, yeah. Maybe do a couple copper or something. Okay. Brenda, you just put your green brush down there. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Isn't that exciting? But it'll be cool. Yeah, to have a little bit. Mix it up. Ooh, that's pretty. That's almost like a rose gold. Now that's Because you did it on the raw? Yeah. Okay, we're going to show that in a minute. It's like a rose gold. See, this is fun too, guys, because as you try it out, you'll be like, ooh, yeah, on this color, that's great. Or yeah. Yeah. if you had some black yeah. matte and you would see how they play on that. And you know, that. here's the thing. You don't have to use Lunar Price. I like it because it has a little more coverage in some paints, and it's got mica in it. And I love that little glow. Yeah, but, me um, too. Yeah, and you can just use like acrylics and stuff. It works. Yeah, but it doesn't have a shine. <laughs> no. No. Well, I suppose no if you, uh, you know, if all you have like uh, you, is acrylic, yeah. and you want to shine, you could do the silver paste over top. Oh, okay. Yeah. Ooh. Or maybe you could mix it. In, you know? Yeah. Or yeah, put I the could see how that's going to look when it's done. Yeah, it's going to be pretty, pretty, pretty. Oh, they have one in purple, too. So you have golden hour. That's gold. Crocodile cheers. That's such a funny name they put on these. Cross my heart. Oh, that's pinkish. 
And this is the Pulga. I'm looking at it. Mm -hmm. It looks really nice how they did on paper. I wonder if you could do, like, paint a piece black with acrylic and then put that sure on top of it. Absolutely. Probably would look ten times better. You certainly could. Yeah, Javi's saying you could always, if you don't have any black matte pieces, you could take a piece, paint it with black acrylic yeah. paint, and then use these yeah, sure. over top. There's so many ways you could go. I was thinking like even a heart stamping, like we had that center. Paint that uh, center black and put this on there. Yeah. Mm. Just, <laughs> that's where my brain goes. You could do that. I don't know why, but that's where it goes. <laughs> you should try it more mixed media and see what happens. I know, I should really try I Although do, I do wire, love the resin stuff, Your wire stuff, stuff is great. Yeah, you do. You do I love that So does Lauren. Oh, resin's fun. Oh, yeah. See, now, I put an extra coat on this now. Uh-huh. Yeah, see the difference? Yeah, so it's up to you how you yeah. want it yeah. to yeah. come Antique out. Antique gold. <laughs> it would be <laughs> fun if you did a few one way and a few the other way, and then you layered oh, them. Oh, yeah. Look at that. The depth. dimension, mm -hmm. yeah. Woo, pretty. Mm hmm so I'm going to do that. I'm going to put two of them like this and these other two of them. I might use them in my project later. Miss Millie, you're being bad girl. Millie's trying to get Javi's attention. She's, she's heavy. She's always she's trying. trying to get my when she comes, she crawls up her leg. <laughs> <laughs> you will pay attention to me. Uh, Mary, I'm going to check for you on that question. Hold on one second. Okay, so I did all those. So the only thing I've got left to do... Oh, I've got these. I'm going to just do these two, just because I can. Sorry, I can smoke these too many times. <laughs> As you can see, I could have put out about half of what I did. You know, I didn't need that much. But I wanted to be sure I had enough. So those are pretty like that too. So now there's this bell cap thing here like this. You gotta get some in the middle in there. Just twist down in there. Yeah, that worked. See, it's kind of smudged. Smudged. Where am I? You're seeing more of my fingers. There you go. Diane knows how to do this. I'm gonna turn yeah. it to yeah. the Just trying to figure out where the camera's at. I know, right? <laughs> oh, he says wrong with that. Where is it? I know. It's like throwing me off. But you can see the color. Beansy! <laughs> <clears throat> uh. So what's Robbie doing? Is he working? Oh, yeah. He's, he's still working. He works until... Well, he gets home at 520. Yeah. Is he always home, like, right on the dot? Yes, that's why I know. Because... It's 520, 520? Because Rob is. is so punctual. Him and his dad mm. both. No, his dad was extra early today. Oh, early. Yeah, Skip's, he, he's, if he tells you... I'm like, I'm eating breakfast at the moment. He's there at 3.30. No, he's there at 3.25. <laughs> no, he's there at 3.15. <laughs> oh, no. Now, that's a little too early. That's what I, I said. Mean, I thought I had 15 minutes left, Charlie. Yeah, I was eating breakfast. <laughs> yeah, come on, guy. I'm like, couldn't you <laughs> just no stay home? Just, like, go around in a if circle. If you come early, you can stay up Go and get wait. coffee. <laughs> yeah, go to McDonald's and get coffee. Okay, Mary, I looked it up on their website, but honestly, they made this product to use on paper. Yep. So that's what they talk about is using it on paper. But I say give it a try because what could it hurt? You know what? Lou? If it's something you're not, you know, scared no, of. It definitely works. Hurting. Definitely. No, she's asking, can you do it on something that's acrylic? Yeah. But I, mean, I don't see why not. Why not? I would try it. Just try it. That's, that's all do you have can. to seal it afterwards? Yes. Okay. Yes, you do. That was my question. Them. So I hope this, I get them dry enough so I can seal them because we're going to do another video at 4.30, which will not be live. Don't worry. No, no. we're gonna, it'll, You'll see that one on Friday. Yeah. This is live. Diane renders <laughs> that one like Javi used to. Yeah. Colleen, isn't that the truth? How easily you can just change the color of brass in minutes? Sure. That's what's so cool about this stuff. You probably can change beads, too. <laughs> Pearls. Here's another color we didn't have in our opening shot, more of a, a lighter blue compared to the yeah, dark deeper. Deeper, darker. Okay, <coughs> I got these paints, so now I gotta do something about these guys. So what color should I, well, what kind of paint on here? 
Oh, I did some kind of a greeny thing. Mm, a mixture? I don't have much blue in here, though. Mm -mm. I think I'll do some blue. Oh, come here. As you can see, I'm not fussy about it being, you know, another color. <laughs> Now those little things, those little tulip beads, you could probably slide a toothpick up inside them to paint them. So you yeah, I wonder if I have any on here. Thank you, Diane, for that. Or idea. here, do this. I thought I saw something. Oh, I put them on the end of my poon. That's excellent. There I'll you just, go. I'll just hold it. See, I put it on the end of my spoon that I was digging the Jeffy stuff Lou. out of the pots. Is that you, uh, Donna? <laughs> Jeffy Lou, she's here. We thought she wasn't coming, but she's here. Hi, Donna. Donna's here. That way, by putting it on the end of a plastic spoon or a Q-tip or something, you're not... Actually, the plastic spoon fit in there and held it really nice. Yeah. Yeah, Lauren wasn't feeling good, so Diana yeah. had to figure out how to do the YouTube one. She's doing fine. And then, of course, you guys know what I did on Monday. If you don't know, I'm going to tell you because I'm so proud. I put my own self on. She but did right I, on Instagram. I was all by herself. Put my own self I on, on Instagram. Was <laughs> but I, Diane was, was on the funny. phone the whole time. You saw it. I cracked up. I was like, "What is the I thought this was like for real. Like this is like a real. No, we were thing. laughing hysterically <laughs> later because I said to her when she called me, I said, "Okay, now I'm going to tell you what to do. But once you hit that button, don't talk to me. Talk to them. Um, yeah. But she hit the button and she was still talking. Still talking. Yeah. I said, I don't care. They're my friends. They're not Actually, gonna it turned out to be really cute and it funny. Was. It was. I look like a goofball. No. I thought it was really funny. I was like, I thought you were talking to somebody and then well, you were going to show And then I was I like, didn't oh, it's want to miss. I didn't want to miss. I told everybody. Yeah, you're you know? right. And I had finished that one night because I was so proud of the one made with the big buttons. Oh, you I know what? You should that. always be out there because it don't matter. Everybody else is out there. Everybody's out there. You know what I mean. <laughs> well, I mean, like, they don't, they don't know says, how to do what they do. Donna says, she just dropped you at home, but now here you are. <laughs> well, she Surprise. has a car. Surprise. And she knows how to drive. That's true. <laughs> yeah. Things aren't taking so good. I think these need uh, maybe a little bit more time or something. Now they're taking good. Oh. Yeah, but once that initial layer dries, yeah, you could go then back you go and back and it'll grab. It'll grab yeah, much harder. That's right. You make tooth. You're making some tooth for it. So that's how that looks. I'm gonna okay, pull so this let's see out. how this looks if I put something on it. Let's see. What color do I put? I'll do this. You got a yellow. <laughs> oh, shucks. <laughs> Brenda just keeps using the same brush. <laughs> I'm just a girl who does not care. I do not care at all. I throw my stuff around. Have you ever tried like one side of the flower yellow and one side of the flower They won't let me count here, you know. You should be glad. But I'm worried about these beads. You guys, when you get your beads for the kids, you better count them. <laughs> if it's a number, it doesn't agree with me. That's all I can tell you. <laughs> Not a head for numbers, huh? Diane, one time, she was doing the head pins for me. I had counted them out. I said, oh, they're all done. Just go ahead and take them on. She looks, she's like, um, Brenda, you got like 20 extra <laughs> in some of the bags. Five some of them are short on one. It's just, I'll, I'll dump these out and count them all over again. Just let me do it. <laughs> okay. Hey, we all have our thing. Yeah. We all have our strengths. We all have our things we need help with. Uh, I need help with but everything. it could be some days that are like, like that too. Uh-huh. Where your head's Jordan that Jordan says, day. I'm the visionary. That's right. That is a big responsibility. That is correct. It gives me a headache. What? No. But all you guys that, you know, it's just you and you're working with yourself. You're the visionary, too. That's true. That gives you Of our own work. Uh, yeah, you get, it gives you a headache sometimes, too. I'm trying to figure out what do my friends want to see me do that I can do. I have to use them. Somebody said something to me. I want, I want to see you uh, do a stitch and couch down... Um, a cabochon on that lacy stuff stuff thing, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Marsha and Irene came when, were you there? Yeah. And she, they showed us how. And there's yeah, a they, video they on it too, I have to find us as well. They did it because they're beaters, but I am not. So 
I don't know how good I'd be. I mean, I'd have to, I can do it. Come on, I did, I did my example. Mm -hmm. But um, I have to um, go look at it again. This morning I was looking, I want to make multi-row bracelets and do some videos on that because we have some really cool beads. But as you guys know, I'm not a really great beater. So I was watching this girl from Sam's Bead Box or something. Um, she was making a triple row one. And she did a great job, the way she put the beads together. She didn't call out any measurements. I'm like, so how long do you make that thing? Because I know when you do a, neck, a bracelet in sections, if you make it too long, you're going to be sorry to fall off your wrist. If you make it too short, you're going to be sorry because it won't go around it. So I'm thinking six inches maybe. I don't know. Oh, she didn't even say that. No, right? she didn't. I, I, I rolled it back a couple times and I'm like, well, see, when you don't tell people stuff they need to know, they get frustrated. Brenda, this has happened to you. There have been people frustrated with you too. So I just have to do it. She worked, she used a bead lawn, 49, whatever. And she is one inch crimps and three inch crimp covers. This doesn't look hard. I want to do it with my beads. Maybe some of my bone beads and some of my homemade beads out of, you know, the ones I make out of, you know, a proxy sculpt, put all the junk in them. I want to do something real funky. Real funky. That's a good question somebody asked. Since, um, this is brass socks instead of raw brass. Do mm -hmm. you still need to wash the pieces before you put the color on? You know what? It never hurts, but you really don't. Not on the plated pieces, because you no, don't. You really, because they've already done that. They've, uh, they've already had to degrease them and do everything to them to be able to plate them. So that's done. <laughs> Colleen. <laughs> if they had some road dust on or something, they'd been sitting in a drawer for a while, couldn't hurt. But what she said? She said she'd be getting rid of that brush and just smearing this on with her fingers. Yeah. <clears throat> and you could. I've been doing a little bit of that. Okay, I got one left, so I'll do that. Here, watch me go. Well, here I go. And, it's, <laughs> and it is going on a lot better. It's going on a lot better. Oh, Colleen, you're right again. You're so smart. All righty. So did I do all Any of them? Which way I didn't do my do cone caps yet, but I'll do them. What do you think, guys? <laughs> Now all I need, Messy but fun. Now all I need is to give you a big hug. <laughs> oh my. <laughs> For a moment. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so that's pretty much how it goes. I mean, it wasn't rocket science. Was it? Let me see. Bria has used that brush for years. Yeah, I know. It's the same one too, bro, Jeffy. No, I throw them out. Actually, I wash them out once or twice, and then they start getting kind of hard, and then I throw them out. So, so I'm tossing it. She's tossing it. And see, Mary says, I think seven inches is a typical size for bracelets. About an inch of the class. Well, see, that's what I wanted to know. And I was thinking six, too, Mary. Because, yeah, uh, medium sized wrist is usually seven to seven and a quarter. Now, if it's me, it's seven and a half because I have a, not a large wrist, but it's a little bit bigger than medium. Um, but, yeah, you can't make it seven. It'd be too long till you put the class on, it'll be falling off. All right, so, I'm going to show you guys. I think about six, six and a quarter. How once the first coat dries, how you can intensify. Oh, so she's going to do it now. Here is one of the tulip beads that Bisu had put blue on. And oh, once it dries, it gives you a grabbable surface. So I went back. No, where is it? There we go. And I put a second coat. Oops. And you can see the difference. How yeah. much more yeah. intensity you get. Mm -hmm. And there's some. Um, a second coat. Excuse me, there's a lot of surface detail on those too. Excuse me. And actually, things with surface detail take better but than like flat. But if they've got a lot of dimension, they can be a little bit harder to take care of. So. Anyway, so I think I got them. I think I painted most of them except for my cone caps. Um, yes, Colleen, that's there. right. Embrace the mess. Embrace the mess, embrace the imperfection. It is what it is, people. Just you know, have fun with it. I was trying to think now, is this going to look good with any of my bone beads? I don't know. These ones would. Maybe those. Yeah. Yeah. And those. Did you get that one that's a bead mix on? It has some of my bone beads in it. I want to probably do it. I'm in the middle of that oh, one. Oh, okay. 
Yeah, Diane's putting a mix on uh, Etsy. There's going to be three bags and some of my uh, turquoise bone beads. Mm -hmm. Yes, Mary, that's, uh, that's exactly right. I just wanted to show that so you could see the difference. The second coat will really be more saturated and mm -hmm. intense, mm -hmm. but it depends on the look you're going for. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you just want a little hit of color, and sometimes you really Darcy. want it to show up. Darcy's here. So it's your choice. So yeah, this is pretty much it. So I might decide to go back over a few of these. I'm not going to put any on here because I don't know what I'm going to do with it. But you can put on. I've showed you. You know what? I'll paint a little bit of it. You could almost just drag it through. Well, kind of. This is what I'm going to do though. I'll make a little bit of it. Oh. You might have to hit it a few times. Yeah, this one's not taking as easy. Uh, you probably have to do it like twice. Yeah, and then just seal it with some. And you know, really, spray. all it does, guys, when you do this, it kind of like almost just like antiques it blue. You know, it gives it's it a hint of color. It doesn't a hint of color. Doesn't give it, you know, a whole nine yards. Unless you let it dry and go back. Yeah, I mean, you could. Yeah, you could. Yeah, there's some on there. So anyway, that's how you do it, anyhow. In case you didn't know. And then definitely seal it with a little Krylon spray yeah. or something. Yeah, and that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to let these dry for about half an hour. Really overnight would be better, but I need to use some of them because I'm going to do my next video here in like an hour. So I'm going to seal some lightly and then I'm going to go on to the next thing. So I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you could hear me. This was fun. Let's come back out to you. Yeah. Yeah, there's me. Here mm -hmm. I am. Here, lift it up a little bit. You got my head there cut off. There you go. Wait a minute. My head's cut off. But now the light's being weird. Yeah. Here we go. Here we go. Here we are. Nope. The window in the back is yeah, sometimes causing I'm... a little bit of an issue. Well, that, yeah. well anyway, you saw me today already. <laughs> I wanted Heidi to come over and wave hi. Now, how did we do that before? She, oh, she knows she's going to fix it. Oh, because she had adjusted the light when you were down lower. There we go. There you go. Now you have to come over here with me. Say <laughs> hi. So you can see. I forgot. She had adjusted the light from where we had it Yeah. when it you were down low. Well, we got a pencil light. Here she is. Say hi, <laughs> Heidi. Hello. Hi guys. <laughs> <laughs> you guys know Javi's my niece. I think most of you guys know. She married Rob. Yep. A long time ago now, too. Yeah. Yeah. Been we're all related time. somehow. <laughs> yeah, we are. Oh, yeah, we're related to you, too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Jordan married Diane's daughter. Yes, and Jordan married Lauren, so there we go. Okay, this was fun. Um, oh, she says lunar paste takes really well on book chain. I would imagine it does. Oh, I bet yeah. that would be gorgeous. I would imagine it does. I just ordered a whole mess of book chain. Big money. Satin gold. Because we're going to use it in one of the projects. So we need it for the kit. Mm -hmm. so. Okay. I'm going to leave you with this before I go. Don't forget, please, to comment. <laughs> I just... It's so wonderful when you do that, and I see you taking time to do it and come back and do it. I can't tell you how much I appreciate it. We need that kind of help. Yes, because once this gets posted, these comments yeah. here will disappear. A few people That's have right. been shouting our stuff out, too, on their pages, which nice. if Aww. you feel like it, I never expect that. I wouldn't ask you to Hey, do and that. if you're not subscribed on uh, Instagram, please subscribe to Beast Boutiques on Instagram. Oh, I forgot to tell them that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's always helps. Subscribe <laughs> on there, too. Yeah, that would help. Yep. So anyway, okay, thanks guys. Thank you so much. We'll see you Friday morning with your coffee. I'm going to show you how, how well I got along making a little something, something out of this. Okay, this was fun.